everyone, this is Kiki from Aver, and today I got you something new, and this is our new product, Aver DL10. What is DL10? This is an affordable AI auto tracking camera for lecture capture. So if you are looking for a camera for lecture capture, just keep watching. Well, what's special for DL10? Um, you will notice when we look at the design, it's much smaller compared to a typical PDZ camera. I happen to have a PDZ camera that you can find in the market and you can see the comparison. I basically can you know, hold this uh, DL10 with one hand. So if you would like to set up DL10 like permanently, uh, you can set up like upside down sitting mount on the ceiling or you can put on a tripod or wall mount. Um, but if needed, if you need to travel to other classroom to teach or even back home for teaching from home purposes, with this size of the camera, you basically can carry it with you. Um, so that's very more flexible uh, for different setup and purposes. What is the product feature of DL10? First of all, it has three times optical zoom lens, which enables a maximum setup uh, distance of five meters away from your contents. And right now, I am recording my demo by using DL10 itself, so you can check out and review the image quality of the lens by you know seeing, uh, capturing the contents behind. You will find out uh, the content, the formula behind me is clearly captured. Um, this is because of uh, the capability of the three times optical zoom lens of DL10.
Another product feature that is worth noticing is there are two built-in microphone of DL10 on the front of the camera. Um, this also enables as far as five meters of the pickup range uh, from the speaker. And right now, I'm actually um, setting up my DL10, the camera, uh, about like four meters away from the blackboard. And um, I'm actually standing about like uh, two meters right now, um, you know, in front of the DL10 and recording this demo by using the beauty microphone of DL10 itself. Let's see um, if I walk a bit further, like these uh, black hole right here, and if I'm talking uh, on this distance from my camera, which is about like um, four meters. I believe you can still uh, capture my voice clearly and in the meantime we also support uh, the noise suppression to satisfy other circumstances where teacher may have unexpected uh, noise uh, for example you know in Taiwan we do have the trash talk um, on certain uh, period of time so if you do may need to eliminate those noises you can turn on the noise suppression of the building mic of DL10 what about the IO interface let's check out the back of the camera uh, we have four different ports uh, on the back of the camera uh, from the right to the left the first one is the power uh, this is the uh, DC 12 volt power and second one is the LAN, the Ethernet port, which enables a remote control of the camera. And the third one is the USB Type B uh, 3.0 port. Uh, that means you can uh, use DL10 as a pure USB camera. And the last one is the external audio input. Uh, just in case that you already have existing audio in your uh, use case which you do need to have external audio inputs last but not least i want to show you a very interesting uh, magic feature for dl10 which is the gesture control uh, just imagine when you are teaching sometimes you may want to have a quick control of your camera but you may just forget where the remote is, right? Or you would not want to rush to a laptop because you are teaching uh, simultaneously. And I know as a teacher, while you teach and uh, manage the classroom at the same time, you juggle a lot already. So in this case, you can just, you know, use your finger or hands a little bit to, um, to you know, do a little bit camera control by using the gesture. So let me show you what I'm talking. Uh, so right now, as you notice, why I'm walking or moving, the camera's not following me because I haven't really turned on my tracking. But what if I feel like, hey, I want everybody to focus on me, the presenter again, I turn on my tracking. Uh, what I need to do is to show your hands like this, like five. Okay, so right now you should be noticing that the camera is tracking me wherever I go and basically the uh, AI tracking has been turned on and I believe it's the presenter tracking, right? It's the presenter tracking and as you can see it is capturing me, following me uh, with my full body but if, what if I want to switch to a you know closer look? Uh, I can just switch to the upper body by showing Four. right so as you can see uh, the camera just uh, following me with the upper full body uh, view right which is a bit closer uh, so what about I want to turn it off actually very simple just to show your hands like the fist like zero Okay, and now the tracking is turned off. So, you know, when I keep walking, it's not moving, right? It's not moving. So I may want to uh, use this opportunity to uh, show my contents behind because, you know, the camera's not tracking me. 